forget about the victims. That is what supporters of Eric Wells want to remind everyone tonight. From the beginning, the motorcycle community's call for justice has been very clear. Our TV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live downtown with more on that story. Ebony. Drew, from the crash to the hearings from the very beginning, this case has been closely followed by people in the community. In fact, you don't have to speak to people directly impacted to hear passionate opinions. And possibly of this group, the most vocal has been the motorcycle community. These avid motorcyclists raising money for an ill Henry County toddler pause at word David Bassard is facing new charges of driving under the influence. There was a lot of shock. Uh, every, nobody could believe that he was out on the road allegedly drinking again and has had another accident. This is the second time police have arrested the suspended IMPD officer for driving drunk. In 2010, authorities say he was intoxicated when he crashed into a group of motorcyclists. 30-year-old Eric Wells died, and Mary Mills and her fiancé, Kirk Weekly were seriously injured. I think as a police officer, he should be held accountable and think that this time he probably should be put behind bars where he can't hurt anybody. Massard's trial for reckless homicide has had a series of delays as lawyers debate over blood samples. But the motorcycle community has stood firm in their support for the victims. On the one year anniversary of the accident, hundreds of people mounted two wheels for a ride in honor of the victims and to demand authorities hold Bassard accountable. Well, he's not set a very good example of being a police officer, drinking and driving, and, you know. If it was us, we still wouldn't be on the road after the first event. Messages of frustration are heard by many people throughout the community. Just take a look at our RTV6 Facebook page. Within minutes of posting news of Bassard's arrest, hundreds of people share opinions, mostly outrage. Back in Spiceland, these motorcycle enthusiasts have raised more than $7,000 for Caleb, a two-year-old in need of a heart. They say as they help fight for a life, they're hoping the life of Eric Wells is valued with a conviction. This conversation continues. Let us hear from you. You can log on to the RTV6 Facebook page or the IndieChannel.com. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Good Thank you very much. And